Hello guys, Kim Jong Lee here, bringing you another online commentary battle for Rome Total War. This time it's a 2 vs 2 31k rules battle, and I'm playing as the CPR Romans, and my ally is um, Immortalis or Bubo of the Immortals of War clan. <coughs> I've just brought um, 14 Urbans and 6 Praetorians. Uh, Bubo's brought his kind of signature army. Um, it's got 6 Companion Cav. And they seem to be gold gold with two chevrons. <coughs> His Cretan archers here are silver silver it looks like. And the royal pikes um, are gold gold mostly. Some of which are, have chevrons. Um, uh, our opponents are Lord Algus. Um, I'm not sure who he actually is but uh, he seemed pretty good. And seemed to know at least some, like he knew what he was doing. So, um, I'd say he's a decent player. Um, he's just gone 14 Urbans and 6 Praetorian Cav. Um, we've also got Axilius from the Brotherhood Clan. <coughs> he's just got 2 Archer Auxilia, 6 Praetorian Cav, and the rest Urbans. So there'll be 12 Urbans there, and they look like um, they're... Um, gold, gold, and some of them have upgrades. So, Axilius is all teched up to combat Macedon. Um, these archers here will skirmish pretty evenly with the Cretans, and the um, infantry with those upgrades should be able to get um, some sort of edge over Macedon um, given the time. So, we'll start off the battle here, and yeah, me and Bubo just um, walked pretty much straight up to our respective opponents um yeah thoughts um after the deployment I wanted to go kind of one versus one with Algus because I was pretty confident that I could win in a 1v1 so um I still had to keep an eye on what viewer would do and make made sure he held out um for enough time so that I could defeat um, Algus. So we can see um, Axilius taking a pretty aggressive line here with his cavalry and um, his archers, put, placing them on the flank. So Bubo is going to do the same I imagine um, soon or he's just gonna start skirmishing with these um, Archer Auxilia and uh, using his Cretans. So you may also have noticed that Bubo has made his general unit the um, one of the companion cavalry units, um, which is pretty interesting because usually I would make my general one of the infantry units since they're less likely to get killed. Um, yeah, so Bubo just getting into a better position to skirmish. Um, these Artrogs are already sending flaming arrows into the Royal Pikes. So if Bubo hadn't brought any archers, they would have just been able to shoot these Royal Pikes for the entire game, and that's not too good if you're Macedon. Um, I I want to be able to cover Bubo's left, because if Lord Algus is able to slip some Urbans into a gap there, um, and start attacking Bubo's flanks it could cause a rout so I want to be able to position myself such that I can support um, Bubo's left flank and keep him safe there um, while also being able to attack um, Lord Algus. As you can see some of Peeler's already been thrown here from Axilius and um, Bubo's got his Peeler screens out um, definitely looking to soak up some Peeler He's also moving these three units to the right, so this is to screen off these um, Praetorian Cav and these Urbans from being able to just charge through um, from this side. Meanwhile, the Pillar Wars started um, on my side, but nothing too big has happened. Um, it's pretty even. And yeah, as you can see, most of the action right now is happening on this right flank, where Bubo is just um, going with the skirmish 
that's down to 65, 71, 53, 52. So it looks like Axelis is winning, but just by a little bit. <coughs> and it looks like Axelius Archers, they're gold gold, so that, that could explain it. Since these are just um, silver silver cretins. So Axelius here, pushing up his testudos. What he's looking to do here is to break through um, these uh, royal pikes and then burst them open when they're into like... When, th when they've gotten past the pikes. Um, so they can go into the melee rather than be stuck on the front. And he's also moving up more guys to throw Pila in now that the Pila shield's um, routed. Um, this Pila should just go straight to these um, tight formation royal pikes, which is really good. As you can see, two of his Testudos have already punched through the front ranks. And um, he's still sending more in. So... Uh, Bubo will have to watch out for that, and Bubo knows this, so he's bringing up, back up um, Royal Pikes to kind of screen them off. As he does this, I have to be sure that gaps like this have to be patched up. So I'm just going to start moving um, my army a bit more this way, just to make sure um, Axelius and uh, Algus can't pass through this gap and hit um, Bubo's flank. Because Bubo does need guys here. And um, this was, uh, in my opinion, a bit questionable. He moves really aggressively here and puts this pike unit um, on the flank of Axelius. Although it, it would be pretty good um, in practice, I actually didn't like it because it seemed like he was overextending a bit. But I'm pretty sure this was kind of just a setup for the cap charge. But the cap charge didn't really go so well. And I think he lifted his pikes a little bit late. Uh, but, yeah, it was, it was um, I guess, quite clever. But he's really got to watch out now because he's extended a lot. And his line is getting quite thin, especially in this part, which is uh, very important. So, I've managed to seal off this flank. Um, so, let's see what these guys think. Defeat seems certain. So the morale isn't very good on these Royal Pikes. and But they are eager so and steady. So they probably won't rout anytime soon. But I see that um, Algus and Axelius are looking like they're pointing their cab this way and everything. They're definitely looking to try and rout um, Immortalis as quickly as they can. So while their attention is turned this way, I know I have to quickly do what I can against um, Algus. And I've also provided two urbans here just to prop up um, just to prop up Bubo's line because I've seen Algus send a few of his urbans over to this side. Um, so I've just sent two over there to kind of balance out this weak section in the center. And as you can see, um, victory is a distinct possibility. Um, so the morale still is um, not the best, but it has improved. And at this point, Bubo told me to help him with the cow fight over there. So I said no, but I saw that he had already engaged, so I had to help out. Um, so I sent three units to help out in the cow fight. And with these three units, I just try to punch through this um, kind of center part and aggressively push with my infantry at the same time to try and get a route going. Because if Algus's cavalry is focused here, and we win the cavalry fight here, then it will give us a pretty good advantage. Um, and also, these three cav units should be enough to just um, try just to wrap up Algus, because my infantry is pretty strong at the moment compared to his. So as you can see, he's gone in for a, a charge as well, but it went into my infantry and it didn't do all that much. So I'm going in for a counter now. On this side, you can see that um, I have come in time to the cab fight, and um, it's still quite even right now. Even though one of Bubo's um, Royal Pikes managed to catch some of the cav, actually this has got some urbans that are going to get in the mix, and Algus is also sending one of these cav units to help out. Uh, but on this side, I've pretty much dominated. 
um, the infantry fight, and I'm and I'm sending Cav out to the flanks um, to reduce the morale of these guys and hopefully route them quicker. So as you can see, I am getting a little bit of a route, but it's going to just need a little more push, just like one smaller push, and it they should break. On this side, unfortunately, we lost the cavalry fight. Um, some of my guys routed quite quickly. I managed to save some of them, but they just got stuck on these um, Praetorian Cav units. And I actually forgot that this unit came back from routing, and Bubo pointed it out to me. So that was pretty good teamwork from him, and I was able to bring it back and um, stall these Praetorian Cavalry units even more. On Over here, um, my push has actually passed this kind of line that Bubo's formed, so the morale of these guys is pretty good now. Um, and what we've really got to worry about is this flank, because he's overextended and Urbans are getting around behind. So I've decided to send the Urbans that I was using to prop up this center part to this side. And as you can see, I've managed to get all three of my cav units around, do some back charges and side charges and mass route um, Algus's guys. So I'm just going to run them behind this massive line now. And Bubo's done really well up till now. His pikes pretty much haven't budged from uh, since this position since almost the start of the game since this engagement started so they've been holding out for a long long time and my guys are now in the back the morale of these guys is really pretty low um, even in the cavalry fight uh, we have the advantage in cavalry as you can see I had my three cab units on this side which were still um, pretty good they're at about half strength but it's still a lot more than what Axilius has so as soon as I throw in my guys in the back, um, they st uh, all these guys chain route uh, because they're surrounded. And that's pretty much the game right there. So it's just some of Axelius' um, archers left in the back there. So well played to all the players. It was a really enjoyable game. Also nice to play with some newer players like um, Algus there. As you can see by the kills, my Praetorian Cavalry did quite a lot of work. Um, they got a lot of back charges in, and my urban cohorts that managed to trap that um, large amount of urbans in the end also did um, very well. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.